your derived tables will only last the life of a single query. No way to get around that. But if you want tables to last longer, like the whole session, you create a temporary table. This is the syntax to do that. These syntax examples are always really difficult for me to read, but you at least have that. I'm going to show you this in action and make it real easy. Here's the first way to create a temporary table. Create temporary table and you give it a table name. You list the columns and their data types and you say, I want this to be the distribution key. The table is created empty. But then you have to do an insert select to populate the table. That's called materializing the table. From that point further, you query this table all session long any way you want. You join it to other tables. You can do anything to it. It's almost if it's a real table, but it only exists in your user session. You can do this all in one shot. Here's our beautiful Nexus with all our different systems on it. We have created our temporary table. We've inserted into it, and that materialized this for the entire session, and then we've selected from it. I created this temporary table before, but I'm still in the same user session. I haven't logged off. I'm still here. I can join this to other tables like it's a normal table, and that's the beauty of these temporary tables. The teases made this so easy. Look at this. I'm going to create and populate a temporary table using the CTOS technique. Create temporary table as, and then I run my query. I select everything I need, and I can even give it the distribution key, and in one shot, it's populated. This is another very clever technique. I'm going to create a temporary table as, and I select what I need in my query, and then I use the order by statement to order this. That's going to make those zone maps, min and maxes, very tight, and I could get increased performance. Test it out. I can even create a temporary table that's a cluster-based table or a CBT. Here I'm going to say, create temporary table, give it its name, select my columns, and now I'll say organize on the columns I want it organized on, and now I've got a CBT table. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.